All right, we're gonna test this out here um, on one of the private lessons that we do lessons with here. Um, Caden, we're gonna take a look at pretty much every part of his freestyle here. Right from the beginning off the kickboard, you can see his good kick. Um, he's got good downward motion with the top of his foot, making his splashes, uh, making sure that he's keeping his legs fairly straight with his kick on the way up and then kicking with the bottom or the top of his foot on the way down towards the bottom of the pool. Um, you can see how consistent just overall the forward motion of him kicking his feet. Um, and then we're going to take a look at when he switches over to his freestyle um, where he's missing out on that a little bit. So we're going to take a look at his freestyle here. kick is not as consistent and that's where he kind of loses it so we're taking a look here There's a couple things that we're going to be fixing with this freestyle today I'm working with him later today at around 9:45. Um, but first couple kicks are good takes big sweeping kick right here all the way down to the bottom of the pool and then he's just not kicking forcefully during this freestyle. Okay, and then you can see him try and take a breath, no longer driving from the kick at all, just pulling up his head, feet going toward it, taking a couple strokes there to try and get his breath and um, stay above the water there. Um, what we are going to work on a little bit today with Caden's freestyle is making sure it's a little more of a catch-up stroke. Um, he does a decent job. This is this is good head position here, keeping his head down. Um, but he does lift it up to that neck, lifts it up. Okay. But the biggest problem about his freestyle is that kick there, and then not staying nice and long. So you can see how he's all the way below his shoulders right here. We want to make sure that he has an outstretched arm out here at all times. So regardless of what what he's doing there regardless of what he's doing with his feet he needs to have one arm nice and long you can see that he's swimming uh, in the lower quadrant so if you're thinking of the upper part of his head reaching let's take here we gotta extend this arm and keep this arm long up until this arm's coming around and then you get to pull. He's just swimming so low, uh, his balance is all off and we're gonna see if we can we can fix that a little bit today. Might take some videos and see, uh, come back and see how he's doing. All right, first time trying this out here, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> so uh, I just did a lesson with Caden, uh, trying to lengthen out his freestyle a little bit. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, main thing that we're doing here is trying to get him to reach one arm out and keep it out. So we're going to be using the noodle stick for that. Um, so the noodle stick gives a little flotation out front just to make sure um, that they have some support when they reach. Um, for kids that aren't as strong as Caden here, um, for kids that aren't as strong as Caden, we're always going to make sure that uh, we're holding the noodle stick and kind of pulling rather than uh, letting them do it independent on them, themselves. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, from the previous video, you can see that Caden was swimming more towards his hips than by his head uh, with this. <clears throat> so you can see once he switches over to his regular freestyle, uh, we can see that it's a little bit longer, uh, reaching out a little bit more not as good as far as the breath goes he's still sinking quite a bit you can kind of see here uh, still lifts his head a bunch um, not really reaching and holding that arm out straight when he takes the breath um, so that's kind of the most important thing that we're going to work towards with him is as he's starting this stroke here this left arm stroke he's got to keep that right arm nice and high ear on the shoulder and tilt his head for a breath so you can just see that He's not keeping that body position. 
He's still got a big sweeping kick, um, which is also an issue here. Um, so he kind of lets go of that arm, but you can see he's paying attention to what he's doing. He's getting that head back down, keeping arms nice and long as he's taking his strokes. Um, so you can see this stroke right here going from normally, if you were taking before, if you were looking at the last video, he would already be taking that left arm stroke right here. Um, so you'd be taking that left arm stroke and then all of a sudden he's off balance. But here he's got that left arm there out nice and long. He's reaching with it. Same thing with that right arm, but he's going to try and take a breath and he starts to sink a little bit. Um, but yeah, so the noodle stick is something that we use fairly often to make sure that they get nice and long. Um, other, other than that, still going to need to work on the kick. We'll do that in a different video. Um, when he does kick really strong, you can just see how how deep he ends up here after after he tries taking a breath. He just sinks all the way to the bottom of the pool. Um, so that kick will help. Uh, the head position helps reaching for that breath, but uh, the main thing is, is we're trying to get him nice and long. Um, if you go back to the previous video, you can see that he's just super short. So um, yeah, that's what we're working on with Caden right now. Uh, super strong swimmer. He's only five years old, just recently turned five, I think. So um, he's getting there, doing awesome.